What's going on? Today I'm going to set up my two-step launch control. I'm using a MicroSquirt ECU. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire it up to my clutch switch. And see, this is my factory one. And it doesn't operate the way that I need it to for my MicroSquirt. I need it to ground when I press the switch. Actually, when I push the clutch in, which will release this and this does the opposite so what I did was I got a brake light switch I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this and that's my clutch switch right there so what I did was I got one from a brake brake light and uh, it works exactly how I need it right, so and I'm just going to wire it up I don't have a plug so I just use some regular terminals I'm just going to confirm that my ground is good. Obviously, I'm getting ground right now. So, we'll see if we push the switch in. That's when the clutch is depressed, and I don't have my foot on anything. So, when I push the clutch in, it's going to release this button, and I should get a ground, which will activate my launch control. And there we go. Good to go. All right. So, I got the clutch switch wired up, and I'm going to verify that it works. So, I got nothing. Push the clutch in. And I got ground. All right, guys. So I finished wiring up my micro squirt launch control. Um, I used pin 29. And then if you go into your, your settings here, should be boost, advanced. Go to your launch control. And it would be spare ADC. The well, launch and flat shift, actually. Spare ADC 2 is pin 5, and I use pin 29, alright, so I haven't messed with any of the settings, I just left it how it was, I think I changed the limit on the launch control to 3000, I think it was 2500 before, so now I'm going to keep it at 3000, and should be good to go. Alright, so, got the car running, it's warmed up. I'm gonna test it out. This is, I'm not gonna push the clutch in and just see if it free revs. Obviously. All right, now I'm gonna push the clutch in and show you the launch control works. There you go. 